How many views are on TikTok? Come on, be honest with me, be honest with me. Okay, now, of, out of those of you watching this who are on TikTok, how many of you have seen the videos of people painting their sofas and furniture with chalk paint? Yes, yes, good, okay, okay. If you haven't seen those, um, the long and short of it is people painted their furniture with chalk paint with mixed results. But obviously I am a clothing gremlin, so that idea went into my brain and gestated there for a while and then I thought to myself, can I paint my clothes with chalk paint? Obviously, obviously I can paint my clothes with chalk paint, there's no one stopping me from doing that, but can I do it and have it go well, was the question on my mind. <laughs> Here's the deal with the chalk paint. I went on a little Google deep dive to see what I could find about why people were doing this and how it would work, really, and not give you that weird crispy crunchy feeling that fabric gets when you paint it, right? If you use fabric paint it goes slightly harder and I didn't understand why it wouldn't do that, but a lot of people seem to claim that it didn't do that. And I thought that's probably a lie, but like I said, the bra the idea got in my brain and I had to check. What I ended up finding was Annie Sloan's blog, and I want to say I'm not sponsored, she doesn't know I exist. Um, I found this blog that seems to be talking about it and it's a company, Annie Sloan seems to be the company that also sells chalk paint which makes sense obviously that's why they're claiming you can use it for this because they sell chalk paint right and I thought this is probably probably not gonna work like it's obviously just like a little I don't know it's a marketing thing right it's gotta be but I decided to do it for the video and because I wouldn't I could not let this idea rest because I have this one coat, it is a floor length wool coat and it is off white, it was sold to me as a white coat but it's not, it's slightly cream and over the years I've owned it I have tried so many different things to lighten it a little bit, I have used two different types of bleach on it, no success. I, I know that to bleach wool you have to boil it so I did like get it as hot as I could and I'd put real effort into keeping it boiling. It was a whole thing, it was a whole mess. Um, what else? Oh, I washed it in laundry blue because I thought that would at least take the warm tones out of it and make it slightly greyer and desaturated colours always look lighter than fully saturated ones in general. So that worked a little bit but it was still very much cream and not white. And at this point I've just been trying it for so long and doing so many different things that it felt, it just, it's just kind of in my head now. I felt like I had to try everything, right? So I bought this Annie Sloan branded chalk paint and this is just the little, the small tin. It was expensive for what it was, but I'm willing to put money into my hobbies and my hobbies are doing weird things with clothes, so here we are. Um, <laughs> looking at it, um, the instructions and the information about it definitely said that it works best on natural fibres, which wool is, so that's a bonus. It also said that you have to mix, it with, mix the paint with water to get it to work properly which makes me think that it's working more like a dye because if you mix it with water and then put it on natural fibres it's going to soak into the fibre instead of laying on top of it and obviously synthetic fabrics and synthetic paints and most paint works by lying on top of the fibre and dye works by soaking into it in general, right? You know what I mean? So that bothered me a little bit because obviously if it works that way then I can't paint it a lighter colour than it already is. It's only really going to work if it's a darker colour. But I've got the paint, we've come this far. 
and I figured the worst that can happen is it doesn't work. Or the worst that could happen is that the whole coat goes a weird texture and then it's ruined and I can't wear it anymore and that would be... That would be my cross to bear, frankly. That's... that's my burden. Um, <laughs> I was willing to take that risk. Step one is obviously wash the coat. Wash it. Wash it within an inch of its life. I wear all white clothes quite often and I live in a city so they get dirty so I am no stranger to dunking things in a bath or sink with bleach and absolutely just scrubbing the life out of them. I, that's the first step. Clean it. Let it dry which takes forever because it's a floor length wool coat so it takes days and days to dry out. Such is life. Then it came time to paint it and I was nervous. I must admit I was nervous. Um, the ratios of paint to water is one can of paint to the same amount of water so the easiest way to do that is just to empty out the paint into a tub and then fill the can with water and empty that out into the tub as well. That way you know you've got the exact same amount of paint and water, you know? And then it was time to paint it. And I did, I just started laying that paint onto the coat to see how it went. And that was a terrifying time for me. The next morning, the coat had dried, but it had dried crispy. It was very, very definitely that chunky, crispy, painted texture, which I kind of, I kind of expected it would do that. And I kind of expected from the very start that the people claiming that the things they painted that didn't do that were just lying. Um, <laughs> it also didn't go on evenly at all. It didn't. I mean, maybe I should have mixed the paint and the water together better or something. I don't know, but it wasn't even. It was like patchy white and cream. But some of it was white, which was interesting because I didn't think that that would be the part that worked if the rest of it was going to go wrong. I decided to wash the coat again because with the texture it was, it was quite stiff. And I thought the worst case scenario is that it does nothing at this point, right? So I washed it again. Washing it took out quite a lot of the paint. Um, <laughs> not all of the paint, but quite a lot of it. But it did take out enough of the paint that the coat was back to its normal soft texture. So, so washing the coat took out the crunchy texture and quite a lot of the paint. So it's not fully covered anymore and you can't really tell that it's patchy because I used very similar colours. So it's kind of fine. <laughs> but the coat still isn't a white coat, it's still very visibly, you know, that off-white cream colour. Which is, I guess, fine. I can live with it. I just really wanted to try this process out. So... I guess to answer the question, can you paint your clothes with chalk paint? Um, yeah, you can. <laughs> um, obviously my project didn't work out the way I hoped for, for it to. But I do think that if you are willing to mix the paint really well, like mix it better than I did, and then you're able to wash the clothes after painting them, and also you're working with a natural fibre, and you're using a darker coloured paint than you are the colour of the fabric. You know what, I'm going to start that list again. Let's start that again. Hang on. Okay, so long as you use a darker coloured paint than the colour of the fabric and you're using a natural fibre fabric and you know that you're gonna have to wash it again after it's been painted to make it soft again yes, you can paint your clothes with chalk paint but honestly at that point just buy some dial on dye and dye them <laughs> you know, it's, it's not easier than dyeing it I guess unless you wanted to paint a specific design on there, but that's a whole different kettle of fish. 
So yeah, there you go. There's the question answered. Yes, you can paint your clothes with chalk paint. I wouldn't recommend it. I, I absolutely won't be trying this again, probably. But you can do it if you really want to. <laughs> there you go. I tried it so you don't have to or whatever. <laughs> Yeah, that brings us to the end of this video. Support me on Patreon if you want early access to stuff and loads of extras. I have a whole bunch of videos of clothing DIYs. Don't forget to subscribe. I hope you're having a good January so far. Hopefully by the time you're watching this, I will be back out of surgery and home again and in recovery. I'm filming a bunch of videos in advance, you see. Yeah. So, you know, cheers to that. Okay, take care. Have a good one. Bye.